St. Mary's Bay was choppy today, but the situation off the water remained calm. Fishermen from the Sebeganegadi First Nation continue to tend their traps. And another band, the Member 2 First Nation in Cape Breton, now says it plans to launch its own moderate livelihood fishery within weeks. We're still having discussions with the federal government. We feel that they're taking us very seriously now. They've heard it, heard it loud and clear, I think, across the country that this is a, a big issue. The Bodledek First Nation, also in Cape Breton, launched a self-regulated fishery nearly three weeks ago. There has been no outcry from commercial fishermen there. We're fighting two separate fights here. You know, we've got a different stance in our community, and um, I wish them well in their endeavors, and it's just, uh, I can't comment on theirs. In southwest Nova, commercial fishermen say they are worried about conserving lobster stocks because the Mi'kmaq are fishing out of season. Last week, two lobster pounds where Mi'kmaq fishers were storing their catch were targeted and vandalized. One was burned to the ground. Today, the owner of the other one pleaded guilty to not disclosing lobster sales to fisheries officers in the past and was ordered to pay $20,000. It comes at a time of great concern over who has the right to buy and sell lobster. We've taken this issue extremely seriously. It is important uh, that we keep Canadians protected and safe as we move forward to respect uh, and uphold uh, rights that have been long recognized uh, for Indigenous fishers. The fisheries minister says she is appointing a special representative to help negotiate. We're hoping that we progress a lot more with it before the end of the week. Um, we're kind of pushing our timelines very hard. And we're hoping that uh, in the next couple of weeks we have something on paper and it's, it's out there for the world to see. Chief Sachs says he is meeting with his fishermen tonight and has good news to share with them. He declined to share it with us. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Sonia Nova Scotia.